Hey everybody, today we're differentiating an integrating power series. Here's the theorem, it's pretty simple. Suppose we have a power series with center A that has a non-zero radius of convergence, R greater than zero. Then that function, the power series, is differentiable and integrable within that radius of convergence. And even better, the derivative can be done term by term so the derivative of that power series is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity n c sub n x minus a to the n minus 1. And the indefinite integral can be done term by term as well. So um, what I've done inside that summation is just raise the power by 1 and then divide it by the new power. As always, when we do an indefinite integral, we need the constant of integration, the plus c. So really all this theorem is saying is that you can differentiate and integrate convergent power series term by term, just like you'd hope. Um, one thing to be careful of, however, is that convergence can change on the endpoints of the interval. So you have to check a minus r and a plus r manually every time. This gives us a very powerful technique for finding power series for new functions. So in particular, um, we have this one really standard power series corresponding to the geometric series. 1 over 1 minus x is just the sum of x to the n, which converges for the absolute value of x less than 1. So for example, if we differentiate both sides, we get a power series for 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared, 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared, and so on. Notice that we're starting at n equals 1, otherwise that n x to the n minus 1 will have an x to the negative first power, which of course shouldn't be there when we're differentiating a polynomial. The radius of convergence is the same, so we know it's going to converge from x equals negative 1 to x equals positive 1. We just have to check the endpoints um, separately. If we plug in 1 or negative 1 into this power series, we get a divergent series. So overall, this series just converges on the open interval, negative 1 to 1. Um, in particular, using the d differentiability and integrability of power series can help us get power series for functions that we could not have handled previously. Um, inverse tangent of x is the number one example. We know that the indefinite integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is the inverse tangent of x. And of course, we can get a power series for 1 over 1 plus x squared just by writing it as 1 over 1 minus negative x squared. And then taking that negative x squared and plugging it into the formula for the power series of 1 over 1 minus x. So rewriting that slightly, sum n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n. Now let's integrate both sides, an indefinite integral. On the left hand side, of course, I just get the tan inverse of x. And on the right hand side, I get um, sum from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, adding 1 to the power, divided by 2n plus 1, dividing by that new power, plus c, of course, plus that constant of integration. Now, we know tan inverse of 0 at the center of the power series, at x equals 0. So tan inverse of 0 is 0. That lets us find that c has to be equal to 0 here. Um, the original series converged when the absolute value of x was less than 1. Here, for example, using the ratio test, we can show that it converges for the absolute value of x less than or equal to 1. 